Okay, so now time to give it a wash. Now, say the easiest way to do a wash um, is to use obviously my wash. Okay, this is the Flory Models Dark Wash. Now, the great thing with the Dark Wash is it's somewhere between black and brown. Okay, it's like a grimy, dirty color. So it's not as stark as it is for you to use a black, because obviously we do do a black as well. Trouble is with a black is that if you're using it, especially over lighter colors, it really does stand out. If you're doing it over a dark camo, perhaps greens and dark grays, things like that, then the black works quite well. But if you're using it over lighter colors especially gray then the dark dirt is probably the better way to go so usual thing <clears throat> this one that coat has had a coat of clear gloss over the top or you could use satin or flat this is more of a satin finish on this one so it's got a little bit of texture to bite to if you did it over a gloss coat it would just purely stick to panel lines if you're using it over a flat coat it will give you an incredibly grimy dirty finish because it gets caught in the texture of the paint so what we're going to do is give this a good old shake up Okay, it's clay based, so obviously sometimes it sort of separates and things like that. We'll get a bit on our brush, and then all we do is liberally put this right the way over everything. So we're going to cover the entire model with it. We're not just going to pick an area, like following a particular panel line. We want to give the overall aircraft a quite a grimy type of look. Okay, so we're just going to go everywhere with this one. So just make sure you go in everywhere. Now if you find it bubbles up and beads up and doesn't stick to the surface, i.e. it's not got like a smooth finish like that, just literally keep rubbing at it and you'll find that it will work its way in because all it does, it will break the surface tension of it. If you find it still bubbles up and you're not really getting the, the look you're after, just add a couple of drops of washing up liquid or dishwater soap, okay, and that will just help break the surface tension. We've got a little bit going on just down here if we bring you in um, you can probably see it if we just leave these pure tanks out of the way you can probably see it on this leading edge down here how it's not exactly sticking brilliantly uh, to the area so just keep rubbing and you'll find that it will go and it will work its way in so okay we're just going to brush this right the way over everywhere with the wash it doesn't matter how long it's on so don't think you have to get this off within 20 minutes you can leave this overnight to go off if you wanted to okay so literally don't worry about it at all it's very very forgiving all right so all we're going to do now is just paint it right the way over everything as you see it's quite a easy one to do and as long as your surface of your paint is totally dry you'll get all of this back off on a glossy Finish. If it's on a satin finish, you're probably going to be able to get about 95% off. Okay. If you're dealing on a surface that's a little bit more um, gritty, shall we say, or certainly more grimy, uh, it's got a bit of a texture to it, then obviously you're going to get more left on it. All right. So we're just going to go absolutely everywhere over this one. So as you can see we're doing the underside as well, it's a little bit more tricky to get it stick to the underside because it's a little bit more glossy under here. Now you can do wheel wells as well with this one, total up to you how you want to do it. I'm personally going to leave these a little bit cleaner because when you look at Israeli jets their wheel wells do tend to be very very clean but as I say personal choice. Just remember, as I say, you've got to go everywhere with it because it will make a nice weathering even effect over your entire model. If you'd leave areas without it, you'll get a clean patch and it just looks a little bit odd.
<coughs> and there we go, one very, very dirty. Okay, F16, so we just put it this way up. As I say, check it out, we've got a little clean spot here, so we want to make sure that's all caked in. Any fingerprints we might have where we've wiped it off whilst it's wet. And then what we're going to do now is simple, just leave it. Let it naturally dry off, totally on its own. And then we can come along afterwards and start wiping it off and getting it off all the areas. Just make sure you're all nice and even, coated all over. As I say, it'll dry back, then we can get it off and it'll really, really bring it to life. Same time, obviously, we can do all the weapons, pylons and things like that. They're all just going to get the same treatment straight over those because obviously it'll look a little bit odd. Same with the fuel tanks, things like that. Weapons you might want to do slightly different, but certainly things like, <clears throat> I've got here these fuel tanks, they're a good example, because they'll want to be nice and grimy and everything as well, because otherwise it'll look slightly odd having nice clean things stuck to it. So it's all, that's why we were saying about having it even and get it absolutely everywhere. As I say, it's pretty self-leveling, and all the rest of it. It just literally gives it a little bit of a, an edge to grime it up and get it looking the business. So once you've got everything coated, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to totally dry off, okay? As soon as you're totally dry, you know, and when we say totally dry, we really mean dry, no wet spots on it at all, because if you get a wet spot, you'll make a clean spot, okay? As you'll see a bit later on when we come back to get it all off. So what we're going to do is leave it and save about half an hour to totally dry if we can come back and we can get it all off. Okay, so this has been drying now for around about an hour. Okay, so what you want to do is go around it and make sure you haven't got any spots like this. You see this wetness? If you wipe it away now, what happens is it tends to make a clean spot, okay, which is too clean compared to the rest of it. So they're the type of things you want to make sure you haven't got. Now normally they're just on areas down the bottom or something like that. But you can easily just blow those dry just at the moment. But you might be able to see here. What happens is, we bring you in nice and close on this. You can probably see here, there's two little dots there. It's actually all clean. And because the wash is literally just washed away, you know, there's, it's not got anything to cling to because it's still wet. That's why you need it to dry. So it's quite important you keep those areas still quite wet. So what you can do is just grab a brush, push it around, some of the areas, if you just wet it with a tiny bit of like spit or something, you know, you can actually maneuver it around into those areas which are still a little bit dry, shall we say. So obviously you can just pop around areas, just brush them about a little bit, okay? And then just plain air from an airbrush, nothing in it, just dry it back. And it won't take too long to dry at all. But you can get little areas like that spitting out. Now, on various other DVDs I've done, the main ones that spring to mind is things like, um, such as the SU24 build. I show airbrushing wash on and really weathering it up really heavy. That's a Russian jet which is caked in it, where this is a little bit more, more refined, shall we say. And they keep their jets pretty clean. Normal kitchen towel, okay, or kitchen roll. Use a good quality one. The cheaper ones, as soon as you wet them, they fall apart and leave fibers all over your model and everything else like that. That's something we don't want to happen. But basically, all you do, wet your cloth, to be honest, I lick it, okay? Rub most of it off the back of your hand, okay? And then just circular motions, okay, on your model to show it coming through just like that. So there we go, we've got the panel lines all showing through. Quite straightforward. So if we just, just give it a bit of a rub. Hopefully what we do, we show it all in the panel lines still. And all those sort of watery marks that you've got off of it, you don't have to worry about at all because they will just go away. So if I just show you on this wing, once you've almost got it all off, Okay, cut to the direction of the airflow, okay, and just drag it backwards. Okay, just like that. So if you have got any natural bits left over, okay, still in the wash, it will look like it just grime coming out and things like that. And there we go, that's that wing done now with the wash on it. 
very straightforward and obviously there's no staining there's no marks left behind or anything else like that and the secret to that is is over a satin finish so it's got enough to grip in all the panel lines and everything else like that okay but the paintwork is totally dry so is the decal area and everything else so all we're going to do now exactly the same thing wet the cloth and go round. Now if you get to a point where you've taken it out completely of the panel line, don't worry, you can go back, put a drop more in it, away you go. If you're in a situation where it hasn't gone in a panel line at all, to be honest I can see it back here, the chances are the reason that's happened in this area is because the paintwork's too thick, okay, might be able to see it just back here, there's a, actually a, a little uh, access panel there. Okay, the paintwork's too thick, it's smoothed it out, it's got nothing to cling to, so when you wipe it, it just wipes out. So what you can actually do is pop round there, clean out that panel line, which is what we'll do a little bit later on, put a tiny bit more wash in there. The wash will go in the panel line, so it doesn't matter that you scrape the paint out. Okay, so, and that is it, but keep your cloth quite moist, but not wet. If you make it wet, you rehydrate the clay, and then it just, wipes off of everything okay so you want to keep it moist and damp to be able to get things moving without being overly wet otherwise all you're going to do is literally wipe it clean out of all the panel lines but as we said before with this stuff you can leave it on there as long as you like you know many times I'll do this at night and then the next morning it's all totally dry come back and do it or perhaps even that I've got caught up with work and things like that and I haven't been able to do it for a few days to get it off come back then I do it now the thing is if you get it in gaps okay 90 degree right angles cotton bud just wet it a little bit and give it a wipe and it'll get it all out of these areas nice and easy just like so so anyway where you've got too much in little nooks and crannies you can use a just a cotton bud just to ease it out of those areas same thing, if you think you've got too much out, don't worry about it, come back and do it a little bit later perhaps when you, you know, just want to go around and carry it on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this all off of the model, okay, and once we're done, we can overcoat it, seal it down and really start bringing it together. 